these VersaLiner gloves from Outdoor Research. These are some of the gloves that I've been looking for forever. This type of glove, instead of just being a simple liner glove like every other liner glove, comes with this Pertex shell that, ooh yeah, check it out. You've got a regular liner glove with a sensor touch thing which barely works, but you've got this nice liner glove. Then if you Go, are going into tougher conditions, you can put the Pertex shell on here and it's supposed to give you a windproof and waterproof surface so you can protect your hands and then take your liner glove off and check this out. It's got a little zipper here. So let's check out these gloves a little bit. They've got this rubberized surface, which works very well, sticks to just about everything. Everything else feels just fine. It feels like a normal liner glove, but the Pertex shell, it looks like it's got that normal inner Gore-Tex liner here. I'm wearing the large, by the way. This Pertex shell really pops on there and does a good job, but it's got a top of wrist thing where you're supposed to be able to fold this up. And I just usually just jam and in there, but and this is hard to do. Like, you know, if, if you're trying to do it with your liner glove still on, it is a bit awkward as you can see here. Arr, come on, jam it in there. You have to fold it all up. Kind of looks like a tumor. But once you get that in there, no, nope, I don't want to tear the zipper. So as you can see, I've tried it before and I just still struggle with it. But the whole idea is that you put this liner inside the top of the, or the shell, inside the top of the glove. So when you've got to, there we go. So you've got your liners always handy and available with you, whether you need them on or off, so you don't lose them. Because once you lose this Pertex liner on top of, or the outer shell on top of the liner, it's definitely toast. Now, let me show you how long these are. I wear the large size based on just an average size hand. So they're about nine and a half, maybe 10 inches long about to 25 centimeters. So it's a nice thing is they fully cover your wrist and protect your wrist because shorter gloves, when they expose your wrist, you actually lose quite a bit of heat out of there. Now, like I said, the touch screen thing, uh, come on, come on, whoa, and see, I gotta use my nose to do that. So if you're a, a total fanatic about the touch screen thing, the touch surfaces on these, not that good. So by the way, I do pay for these with my own money. I don't get this in kind. So I don't just have to say nice stuff about them. And I've never really been able to get this super thin liner glove touch stuff to work. And I just use my nose or whatever. It's not that big a deal. By the way, have you ever seen this? Watch. Check that out. Ooh, but you didn't know you could do that. But what I'm going to do is show you I'm gonna run water over these guys in a moment just to give you an idea of what they're like. But as you can see here, it's a real nice liner glove. Plus they've got the nice clicky things on the side. I wonder what the official name is. That, I don't know. I'll have to go to the OR show one day and actually ask those guys at Outdoor Research. But you can click this together and that way you don't lose the mate of your glove, which is very nice. I really am a fanatic about not losing the mate of my glove. But as you can see, my hands here, the fingertips work just fine for the large size and the thumb works fine. Of course, it's always, it's not a perfectly shaped thing. I mean, it's not some fancy driving leather glove, but they definitely work very well and are versatile. Let me weigh these, that is a consideration. Plus these liner gloves are not ultra thin. They do have a little bit of loft, not as much as the PO 150s, but they work pretty well. So let me weigh these for you. So you get an idea of everything plus the shell, what they weigh. Okay. These are 2.8 ounces or 80 grams. All right, so what I'm gonna do is take you into the bathroom and show you me running water over the shell and let's see how they do. Here are the VersaLiner gloves with the Pertex shell. Not too bad. I can feel the coolness going through. 
but that completely beads off just like duck off the water off a duck's back. Pretty sweet. Now, of course, these guys, that liner will get soaked with that shell. Man, that is so freaking cool. I mean, this is like being in a creek or a river. I mean, rain like this, <laughs> yeah, pretty nice. As you can see, these liner gloves are super, super nice. Good little waterproof shell. I would be careful about pulling on there because there's just not enough material. I wouldn't pull on them because I have damaged them before. Uh, definitely it's something to be mindful of. But if you don't pull on that little loop and you just pull these guys down here, you won't have any problems. Plus, you don't lose that Pertec shell. Oh, where's the shell? These definitely are super nice and probably one of my more favorite go-to items nowadays just because they keep my hands warm but I get a little more dexterity when I need it. My name's Aaron Linsdow. I'm a polar explorer and professional adventurer. Please check out links in the description to my books. Antarctic Tears, Lost at Winnie Corner, Adventure Expedition 1, How to Keep Your Feet Warm in the Cold, The Jackson Hole Hiking Guide, The Most Crucial Lots to Know, The 50 Jackson Hole Photography Hotspots, and my sh um, guidebook, 2024 Total Eclipse books, as well as my show, <laughs> Antarctic Tears. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe to the channel so you can get more info like this.